Hello everyone, I'm Maple Moeller. My pronouns are they, them, and I'm the coordinator for the Outreach and On-Campus Experience Office at the College of Lake County. Um, welcome to our student panel. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we have some of our current CLC students with us today who would like to share some of their experiences with you. Please note that this event uh, has been pre-recorded for your convenience but we would like to encourage you to make use of the chat function, which will be staffed by our student ambassadors during live event times. Please do reach out to us via phone and email. If you have questions, we would be very happy to help you. All right, so we're gonna do a quick introduction and then we'll get started with questions. So could you please introduce yourselves? Hello, uh, my name is Natalie. I went to Warren Township High School. My major is education, and this is my second year here at CLC, and I'm graduating this spring. Hello, my name is Kurt. I went to Wakana Community High School. Uh, my major is scenic design for theater, and this is also my second year at CLC, as I will be transferring out at the end of the semester. Hello, my name is Manisa, and I went to Warren Township High School as well, and I am pre-med into neuroscience. That's my major, and this is my second semester at CLC. Hello, my name is Nayir Callahan, and I was homeschooled K through 12th grade. My major is pre-med, and I plan on being a pediatrician, and I've been at CLC since 2018, and I'll be graduating um, this May. My name is Yolanda Colbert. I work at the College of Lake County and I am a part-time student. So I've been a student at the college since uh, a really long time. Um, I came back in 1214 and my um, major is business administration. So I've been taking classes a little bit at a time. And so now I have decided to just go full force and just finish up my degree. So I'm excited. I'm excited about that. All right, um, on to our first question. Why did you choose CLC and how do you feel about your decision? I chose CLC because both of my parents went to CLC in the past and they talked highly about all the benefits and resources offered to students. Once I got to CLC, I was very happy. CLC has definitely become my second home. I have so many amazing memories here. Uh, I chose CLC mainly because I was a little unsure about my majors. Uh, I had my whole life planned ahead of me as a senior in high school and I was going to go to a culinary arts school for pastry arts. And at the end of my uh, summer after senior year, I kind of was iffy about going for culinary arts anymore. So I turned to CLC and started taking gen eds and pursuing my career in theater. And CLC's environment really opened me up to theater, uh, the flexibility with my schedule so I could work and also do classes at the same time. Uh, that was a really big decision as to why I chose CLC. Um, the reason why I chose CLC, I actually have a couple reasons. So the convenience and also because I was unsure about my major. So I wanted to choose CLC so that I would have some time to think about what I wanted to do. And luckily I've been able to get a lot of help from my advisors and my counselor to decide which path I wanna continue on. And I was also able to choose classes that work towards getting my degree and to transfer out as well as kind of cater to my career options that I'm deciding between right now. What is your favorite part about or what surprised you most about CLC? For me, what surprised me the most about CLC um, are the services and resources they provide. I mean, as a community college, they provide many resources for students to be able to like succeed throughout their time here. And some resources that they offer uh, for me that's really helpful is CAPS, which is Counseling and Psychological Services, where they provide you a psychologist and you get free sessions. 
right free stuff which is good sometimes i mean sometimes you know we need we need to be heard and let things out with someone so that's a really good resource also academic advisors um advisors are here to like guide you and helping you choose what classes to take because they want you to be successful you know and help you graduate that's what we want um and then also clc provides a free gym <laughs> which is totally free for students it includes like treadmills, uh, weights, weight machines, even Zumba classes uh, and basketball courts too. And finally, the most important resource for me is a tutor. Uh, CLC provides a variety of tutors in almost every major. And the best thing about it is that it's totally free. You can come as many times as you want with no charge as long as you're a student. For me, my favorite part about CLC is that there's always something to get involved in. Um, my days in CLC have never been boring. There's always something to do. I also love the diversity of different cultures, backgrounds, and different age groups. Uh, along with all that they had said, everything about CLC is wonderful. And the small class size is actually really drew, drew me in because I deal with everyday anxieties in life. and a huge class size made me a little anxious about if I'm going to have a relationship with my professor. But the fact that I think my biggest class was 25 students and it was a lecture course, um, it really drew me in because I could sit there and I actually was able to create that relationship with a professor. Favorite part about CLC is the quality of the um, education that I've gotten and also the small classes. Um, to me, that helped me because I'm a little older than the traditional student. I am a non-traditional student and I needed a little bit more attention to kind of get back into the swing of things with education. And they do a great job facilitating you know, and the resources are awesome. What has your experience been with instructors and staff at CLC? This is my, as I mentioned, this is my second semester, and I think all the teachers or professors I've had both of these semesters have been really good. Um, they're very understanding about the COVID situation, as well as making sure that, you know, you reach out when you need help, and they're also good at making sure you're independent about things. They don't make it so that, you know, they reach out to you, but rather they make sure to emphasize the fact that you need to reach out to us and we'll help you with anything you need, but you need to be more independent. And I think as a transitioning student from like high school to college, that is helpful because in high school, everything is a lot more dependent on your teachers and professors. So it's, it's a nice transition. So the teachers have been really helpful with that. Um, and they're very understanding with stuff, like with any homework situations you might come up, but they do expect, they have their own expectations that they wish you would follow. And as long as you follow those expectations, the professor and student relationship is easy to you know, become good. Instructors have been awesome. Um, I've always been able to if I had an issue with like the classes and things that I was dealing with, um, it was easy access to them, whether it was via email or a phone call, they have been really um, friendly and willing to assist. I've had some really great professors at CLC. They've cared about my success in their classes. Even though I'm not in some of these classes anymore, I still keep in contact with them. Um, they've still helped me throughout my academic journey. And once you have a good relationship with your professor, they'll be willing to write um, letters of recommendation um, and help you with like different, finding different scholarships. And also the staff are very friendly and caring. Um, when I first got to CLC, um, I got really lost. <laughs> um, so I went to the Welcome in One Stop and a nice lady there helped me find my class like a minute before it started. Um, so being a part of theater, I have dealt with a few instructors, uh, professors that were able to help me find internships and jobs outside in my industry. Um, through COVID even, they have given me options of making designs and talking to these industry leaders that when our economy opens back up and when we can get back to doing our work, 
that there will be an internship or a job waiting for me, whether I pursue it or not, these instructors are taking the time out of their own personal lives to reach out to their contacts, which a lot of them have been at CLC for 15 plus years, and they bring in all this experience for us that it's not just taking a class, it's also helping you through life. Uh, and me not really knowing as I chose this field, you know, as a whim, uh, but I was nervous about being able to find that, being a newcomer to the industry, uh, the professors really opened that doorway and they're creating opportunity upon opportunity for us to pursue every day. How many classes are you taking this semester and how are you balancing your academics with some of the other things that you're involved in, such as clubs, sports, um, family activities, work, I take time like after work to study for my classes. I usually stay here and I do my homework while I'm here. So when I get home, I can give quality time to my family. So I separate it like that. So I give my attention to my classes while I'm here. And then I give my full attention to my family when I'm home. Uh, honestly, it's difficult. Uh, to balance five classes, you know, um, or am I wrong, guys? <laughs> I work at a campus and also I like to um, do extra activities like working out, uh, being involved, you know, around campus and also just spend time with my family. But what really works for me is to stop procrastinating and just get things done. You know, I set myself a goal this semester. I told myself that I was going to finish all my homework by Thursday or Friday and I've been doing it for a whole month now, and honestly, it feels so good not having homework during the weekend. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. This semester, I'm taking four classes, and even four classes can be a bit much. Uh, I took five previously, but I went down to four, and taking the four classes, as well as being uh, a vice president, then shifted into the president of uh, a student club, uh, as well as working uh, two jobs through the college. Um, it's a lot, but they help you manage it. Uh, the really nice thing about CLC is that since I work through CLC, they work around my schedule. They ask me what hours I would prefer working. And if I do have a very stressful week and I really need to just take a couple hours for homework, they're very understanding, um, which I'm sure other jobs do that as well. But it's still nice to know that the foundation that they've set, when you ask for that assistance, that maybe it's a hard mental week for you, it's finals week, it's midterms week, and you have to write four papers, a paper for each class. Um, they're not gonna sit there and say, no, you gotta show up to work, uh, you, work comes first, that they don't believe that. They believe that you need to strive to be a good student and a good uh, social person as well in life, because we all know that when, uh, the world opens back up, we all want to be super social, and they're really starting to plant that seed for us so that when it does happen, we will go out and be social butterflies. For this semester, I'm taking my last three classes, um, and I've also been involved in like a lot of different clubs and organizations, as well as work and the gym. Um, with my uh, club involvement, I'm the president of Phi Theta Kappa, uh, the president of Sister to Sister, um, a member of Black Student Union, Latino Alliance, and some other uh, clubs and organizations. And with all of my involvement, it does get a little bit stressful at times. I'm always busy, but for me, I find if like, I set aside time for homework, and I also like, I don't know, like write in my journal or have some tea, I can kind of um, take away some of that stress and it makes me feel better. Great ideas, everybody. Thanks for sharing. All right, how have you connected with other students and made friends at CLC on campus and virtually? For me, I made more friends while working on campus as a student ambassador. Before the whole pandemic and everything, Nayira and I uh, worked together in larger events. We worked in events such as like the welcome weeks, fairs, and much more. 
we would like serve pizza, serve popcorn, do games and activities with students, um, and so many other activities. And it was so fun. I loved it. When this whole pandemic is over, I'm pretty sure we will be doing all these amazing things for you guys. So. For myself, before the pandemic, I was always like highly involved with everything going on campus. Um, I usually came to CLC at like 8 in the morning and left at maybe 8.30 at night. So I was always in like clubs and work and helping with events and stuff. And all the things I was involved in helped me to make friends and also to help people. Um, right now, everything, all the clubs are virtual, but that's okay uh, because we still manage to like have our meetings, bring in presenters and have like virtual events. Um, at CLC, we have over 50 different clubs on campus and it's like a club for everyone even if you don't see a club you like you can make your own and it really helps with like keeping people connected during the pandemic thank you um what support services at clc have been most helpful to you and to some of the other students who have been in your classes with you um clc offers quite a lot of resources if i'm being honest um the one thing that I remember using a lot, and I've used it maybe once or twice uh, this past semester already, is our tutoring services, which are free to you as a student, which is always nice to hear. Um, but the really great thing is that being a college student, I expected to write a lot of papers, whether they be two pages or they're 12 pages. Uh, but there is a writing tutoring center, and they will read my papers and tell me if I'm not formatting it right, if it's too lengthy, if I need to take anything away. And that's on any subject. That's not just writing an English paper. I wrote a history paper and I had, I sat, well, I virtually sat down with them and discussed the paper. And it was quite helpful because you're getting that pure mentorship. And if you really like that mentor, you can ask to see them each time that you want it. Um, if you like to just work with other mentors and see what each mentor has to offer to you, that's also great. Um, but the tutoring is really something that I like to um, tell a lot of people to do because it helps you become a better student. Uh, there are math tutors, science tutors, English tutors. There's all different types for every subject that you could think of. Um, so that's a huge thing, as well as going to um, all different types of resource centers that we offer, um, our LGBTQ+, our Women's Center, our Multicultural Center. Uh, CLC has everything, and if you need help with something in your life, they have it for you. And I think that's pretty fantastic to have that within a community college. I would have to say, first and foremost, my academic advisor, um, she has been very helpful with me because in my journey coming back to um, continue my education, I had a few barriers and it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. But because I work here and I work around student workers who's going to class and, you know, they've been a benefit to me too, because like I said, I'm an older student, I'm not traditional. And some things don't come as easy to me. And so I pull on them and they are always so helpful. Along with my academic advisor and along with my, along with my instructors, but the student workers that I work with every day, they have been beneficial to me as far as getting around, navigating around different programs and stuff. They're like my right hand, seriously. <laughs> Now with this uh, pandemic, I mean, we are doing everything online. Honestly, tutoring online is so easy to use. Uh, I've used it a couple times and you, you know how you use it is that you go to your Canvas account and you will see like a tab that says tutoring and you click on the tab and it will ask you to fill out a, fo a form with like general information and you will just be assigned with like a tutor online via Zoom. Uh, so it's, it's really easy to use and honestly, I, I like it. I like it. The library is a great resource for me. Um, with the library, students can check out textbooks and they can check out calculators, Wi-Fi hotspots, 
and some other resources. And these are good because it's free to students. All I have to do is use your uh, student ID and you can get these resources for the whole semester, which is really helpful. Do you plan to transfer and how does transferring to another college work? I do plan to transfer to Northeastern Illinois University. Uh, to be honest, I thought transferring was going to be harder than I thought, but I, I, I was wrong. I think if it wasn't because I was so undecided for my first year here, it would have been like easier for me to transfer. I would have like, I would have finished faster that, that too. But the good thing about CLC is that they offer the guaranteed uh, transfer agreement. So how does that work? Uh, like, I'll give you an example. In my situation, I was interested in Northeastern. I'm interested in Northeastern, so I saw that CLC had an agreement with like Northeastern, which is the guaranteed agreement that I told you. And I applied and I got accepted. Uh, so my first year, I took classes that I technically didn't need for my major because I was so undecided on what I wanted to do. But the good thing about the transfer agreement is that the classes that my major did not need Northeastern accepted them as electives, uh, which was good because either way, I had to take more electives over there. In my case, as I mentioned previously, this is only my second semester, but I have already started talking to my counselor about transferring out to the colleges that I have in mind. I'm currently thinking about a few different colleges, so it's not like Natalie that I'm decided on one which can make things a bit harder. But as I said, I'm working with my counselor and we're able to look at classes that work for all of those three colleges and that can easily transfer out or work as electives. And if they won't work as a certain class, they'll work as an elective. Um, and I feel like I am starting a bit early, but at the same time, it's good because I noticed that I am able to actually graduate a bit earlier than I expected. So instead of summer, I can choose to graduate in the spring next year or fall, this coming fall. Um, and I think it helped me get a right mindset of which colleges I am more interested in rather than wasting my time looking into a lot of other colleges that I was also interested in, but now I can focus solely on these three colleges. And then hopefully by the time it's time for me to, you know, get everything in order and, you know, sign my certificate to graduate, I'll have a single um, college that I'm definitely decided that I want to enter. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, definitely transferring is a good option. We also have career options and certificates. So there are plenty of different things that you can get, um, not just transferring out. Um, you can also get degrees before transferring or you can transfer at any time. Um, or you can go off to another college and come back in in the summer and take a summer class sometimes depending on uh, how your school works. So there's lots of really cool things that you can do through CLC with transfer options. And it's always a great idea to get started early. Um, and regardless of where you're transferring, even if it's not one of the guaranteed transfer schools, um, CLC uh, counselors and advisors will make sure to uh, help you with whatever it is that you need to get transferred and make sure that you get the most out of that experience as well. What are some tips for success that you can offer an incoming freshman? Like, what are some of the things that you wish you knew when you first got started? I have two tips. Uh, my first tip is to get involved either working on campus or joining clubs. I totally understand that like some of us can be, you know, shy at first or, you know, we have our own personal life. We have other things to do, but make connections. It's all about networking. Uh, when I first came here, uh, which was summer of 2019, I joined a program called Jumpstart. Uh, I took my first English class with them. They provided a great professor and mentor. And that's how I started networking. I started to get to know uh, people because of like my mentor. Shout out to Salvador, best mentor. <laughs> my second tip uh, would be uh, to meet with the counselor or advisor every, every semester to pick your classes. If it wasn't for them, I think I would probably be totally lost or probably even take the wrong classes for my major. So um, yeah, th those are my tips. One thing that I've learned about myself through college, which college is about becoming an adult and learning who you are, um, is that I didn't 
have a voice for myself. And the one thing that advising helped me find was the voice. Use your voice in this uh, atmosphere because everyone at CLC is going to listen to you. Uh, I was never one for math, so I didn't know what math class to take. And my advisor told me, this math class is definitely something you would enjoy to take. And I got an A in my math class, and I never really got A's in math uh, because that is not something I enjoy doing. Um, but there are classes for everyone. Uh, I'm taking a, I also don't like science. I'm taking a science class called Great Mysteries of Earth. And all we're learning about is, you know, volcanic eruptions, uh, mythical creatures. Uh, we just did something about crystal healing. So you might think that some of these classes, if you don't like English, um, don't go into college with that attitude look at all the courses that we have to offer at CLC because you will find one that the description will really intrigue you. Just like my Great Mysteries of Earth really intrigued me and I'm having a blast. We're a month and a half, two months in now, and uh, it's, it's really fun. Don't, don't be a drag throughout college because you're not going to have a good experience and CLC wants you to have a great experience in college. My success tip is to definitely check your student email. Uh, with CLC, all emails from the faculty and professors are going to go through your student email. And you're going to get a lot of emails from professors about your homework, um, sometimes due dates, and other important information. So definitely make that a habit to check at least two times to three times a day. At least that's what I do. Um, an easy way to make sure you check your email is to use the Gmail app. So I have that app, and with it, you can connect your student email. To the Gmail app and it just pops right up. Any notifications will go right to your phone. A success tip that I would probably add in is to make sure to stay in contact with your professors. I feel like if you ever missed a class for any reason, make sure you get in contact with them. That don't wait and expect your professor to reach out to you. Make sure you reach out to them first and let them know you missed this class and you want to make sure you're all caught up. Make sure you also check your resources on Canvas and just like stay active in class, even if you're not going to participate in the class personally, there are a lot of like background things you can do to make sure that you're on top of your assignments, just like on top of your whole class and you're making sure to get that grade you want. Great tips, everyone. Thanks for sharing. Um, how is CLC protecting the community during COVID-19? What's been your experience as a student? So COVID-19 hit everyone hard. Um, and CLC from the beginning knew that the students were being hit hard, um, switching everything basically a year ago uh, to virtual through Zoom. Uh, we all learned the process together, uh, professors, students, staff, faculty, everybody learned it all together. And um, I think the one thing that CLC is doing very well with COVID-19 and CLC in general uh, is their communication. They send us through our student center, which you'll get to know as a student at CLC. Um, they send messages through email, the student center everywhere uh, about how we're going to maintain in-person classes, uh, virtual classes, the online anytime classes. Um, and they make it very safe at the campus. Um, the class sizes were cut dramatically so that we could have the in-person classes and maintain the social, social distancing that the CDC recommended. Um, they sanitize constantly. Uh, as student workers here, we have to sanitize constantly. And um, they really do take it uh, seriously with COVID-19. You can go home feeling safe that you were on a campus that was maintaining everything the CDC recommends. They have been excellent as far as um, the PPE that we need. Um, when you come into the college at every exit, there are our, our lovely campus police and they always have PPE at each entrance that you come into. So no one walks into the college without being protected. And I love that, you know, because most of us have families and we come in contact with our students and different coworkers and different things. And we don't want to contract anything to, to them. So 
Hill, they are excellent with the social distancing. We have our chats with the president. We have our meetings with our directors, our managers. And that is always one of the focal points that we make sure that we have on our proper PPE, that we're social distancing and that we're washing our hands. So, and also with our, as a, from a student standpoint, they took the necessary steps to offer like online classes and Zoom classes as, as protection as well, because they always keep our students at the forefront of our concerns. The students' um, perspective matters for us as a college from the, from the president down. We have three different uh, class um, options that are offered through CLC such as some in-person classes, uh, online via Zoom, which is like uh, you get on your laptop, log into a Zoom meeting, and it's like a virtual classroom. So you can like see your professors, see some of the students, and have that kind of like social interaction. And then we have online anytime. So with online anytime, you have to set up your own schedule. You don't meet like on Zoom or anything. You have to make sure that you don't procrastinate, see your due date, check out your homework, and like everything is kind of centered on you. So you have to have those, that good time management skills. Um, for the summer semester that's um, coming up, 30% of uh, classes are going to be back in person. We're still gonna make sure everything is like social distance, like clean. Um, for the fall semester, we do have a nice amount of uh, classes that are going to be in person as well. Thanks everybody. CLC is very dedicated to making sure all of our students are protected. Take a look at our website. We do have regular updates to um, the so social distancing practices that we're currently using, as well as how we're organizing classes. We also do provide a lot of services for students who are having a difficult time during COVID. Um, you can rent out laptops and wireless hotspots in case you don't have those um, those types of services and resources at home. So don't let uh, not having a, a good computer or a good internet connection stop you. CLC's got you covered with all of that stuff. Do any of you have anything else that you'd like to share about being a student at CLC? Being a student at CLC is amazing uh, because of like the involvement diversity and everything. Uh, but also we have a store called Lancer Zone. And with that store, you can get CLC apparel. So you can get like hoodies, t-shirts, and like um, things with CLC logos on them. And it just makes you feel like a part of the community. College will not be easy. Uh, sometimes we will be stressed uh, by having to balance, you know, college and our personal life. But in the long run, it'll be worth it, honestly. Uh, taking challenges. And if, if it gets difficult, if a CLC is here for you. You know, uh, you are strong, smart, and you got this. That's what I have. Um, I guess I just want to add that being a theater student, so I'm a little biased here, but um, within CLC, they bring in a lot of public speakers, uh, plays, productions, all different types of things that are offered to CLC students. Um, some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, but um, the amount of uh, people that we've brought in virtually or before COVID and hopefully after COVID uh, in person in our uh, auditorium space is quite amazing because it's all different cultures that come in. Um, February, they always have um, huge uh, poetry and just lots of arts that come into this school and they really like to center the focus on students um, what they can produce as well so as a student at CLC you're always front and center um, because they want to show what this community has to offer uh, with the youth and with people our age as well. I just want to say that we're here for our students you know we're here to make their experience as awesome as possible, you know? And we have great students here. And a lot of our students come from various backgrounds. And I mean, I'm staff, but I see some of my colleagues from different departments, how dedicated and how committed 
they are to our students to make sure that they get everything that they need. You know, whether it's lacking in finances, whether it's support through foundational, whatever, they make sure. We even have like the, 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 um, the food banks and stuff that are offered to our students and they house that here on the, at the college in the parking lots. So I just have to say that they're, they're doing a lot of things right. And for some of the things that they may not be doing right, they look at those too. You can always improve. So constantly looking at streamlining processes, seeing what works for our students, they get a lot of feedback from the students and then they act upon it. I don't know what else we could ask for. Thank you so much for coming. We hope that uh, we've answered many of your questions about CLC and we'll definitely be happy to answer any more that you have. Thank you all of our students for sharing their experiences and their great advice. Um, again, if you have any questions that you haven't had a chance to ask, please type them into the chat box during our live session times or reach out to us by phone at 847-543 2090. You can also reach us when we're not doing our live chat through our general chat, which is through our CLC homepage. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.